Well, hello everyone. I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to Easy Piano Lessons. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that by sending me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com. The website is www.webpianoteacher.com. Um, this song is by special request. If you, if you would like to hire me to uh, do a complete song lesson on any song, uh, you can do that by sending me an email. This is part one to this song, and uh, the rest of the parts will eventually show up on the website. And the person who hired me to do this, you know who you are. I'll send you uh, links for the rest of this song so you can finish it. But let's get started. Um, with the right hand here above middle C, we have an E, and then an A, and then a D. And just keep your thumb on E. You're going to need to do that for the whole box there. E, A, D, and then back to E, and then C sharp right here, and then E above middle C, and then F sharp. Okay, and then you're going to hold that F sharp over the measure, and then you're going to do D. And now keep your thumb on D, then an E, then up to an A, back down to D, E, A, back down to D. And then uh, let's go ahead and do one more measure. D, E, A, then back to D, and then G sharp. Here's G sharp, back down to D, and then back to A. All right, left hand's on a low A octave. So here's middle C, here's the A, a octave we want. A on the thumb, A on the pinky. You may not can see it on the video, but it's an A down here. And then this A is a high A up near middle C. So this is a different A. So come up to this A here. And then you're going to play that A again, down to D. And then actually after you play this A here, you need to get in position for a D octave, because it's this D, and then this low D is the D right here back up to the middle A, and this D octave is a really low D octave, so not here, way down here. You can only see the top note, but I'm doing the next D down, low D, and then up, just one key to the right, to an E octave, and then this E is a different E, it's right here, so you want, might want to make a note of that, which octave all these notes are in. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's put hands together. Let's go left hand first, and then right together here, and then right hand for two notes, and then together here, together here, and then the left hand plays this D all by itself, and then the right hand comes in all by itself, D, E, and on the A, you play together, and then D, E, A, and then this is together, and then left hand's all by itself, and then right hand, D, E, A, D sharp, or D, G sharp, and then this is together, and then a single A right hand. Let me do it slowly, those three boxes. Here we go. All right, let's move on. Middle C sharp in the right hand. Up to an E, down to a D and then up to an A, and then down to the A below middle C. And then we're going to have middle C sharp and E together, like that, okay? Left hand's going to have a low A octave here, A on the thumb, A on the pinky. Move it up to C sharp octave, and then down to B octave. Okay, and then this A is this A on the thumb, okay, right here. And then what we're going to do, well, I'll show, let me show you the measure, then I'll show you how to repeat. Here we go. Here's hands together. Hands together there. Hands together here. Hands together here. And then right hand has A, A, separated. And then you play this together, the E and the C sharp and the A on the left hand. Now when you repeat, uh, just go back to the beginning and play that all again. But we're only going to go to where this asterisk, asterisk is. huh? So we're going to repeat and we're going to stop right after this G sharp. So don't go past this G sharp on the repeat. So here's the repeat. Actually, let me play this and then I'll do the repeat. So here we go. Here's the repeat. Stop. I just played the G sharp stop and then come up here to finish. D on the right hand. Left hand has an E here, and then the left hand has an A. 
I would have written an E, the E octave there, but that's not what the recording does. E, and then an A here on the left hand, so da da. Okay, and then we're going to have this part, which is really loud. Uh, a, C sharp, E, A on the right hand. Full chord, if you can't play the whole thing, leave the thumb note out. And then we're going to have A, F sharp, C sharp, A. So we change one note. We change the E to an F sharp. Now right here, I just put G sharp, E, and B. Because uh, if you want to, you can try the G sharp on the thumb. But this is a hard chord for some people to play. So if it's hard, leave the thumb out and just play G sharp, E, B. But it's... It's uh, totally fine to go ahead and put a, a thumb G sharp in there and have a full chord. Okay? Now, left hand has a low A octave down here, and then an F sharp octave, and then down to a low E octave. Okay, so I'm going to start here and I'll show you the rhythm. And you hold this chord for a little while. That's why I put uh, horizontal lines there. And you also will hold this chord. So here we go, right here. Two, three. All right, and here's the counting of it. Here we go. One, two, three. So count to three before you go to that second chord. One, two, three. One, two. And then count to two before you start this. All right, and this is right hand, but it's low, okay? Here's middle C. We're coming down here. We're going to go E, E, F sharp. Then when you do the next F sharp, play an E with it, but don't hammer the E too loudly. It's just a little bit. Okay, it'll sound bad if you play the E too loudly. And then we have two A's really fast. A, A. So the right hand here is... If that E bothers you, just leave it out. Anyway, uh, then after that, we're going to have left hand, A octave, but one note at a time. A here, and then A on the pinky. So... A, A. So, bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, bum. Then, see the repeat sign? We're going to go back to here, to this part. Don't play this. Go back to here. We're going to do it a little different. We're going to play the first chord and staccato and, and get off of it like this. Two, three. And then these will be smooth. Okay? So, I'm going to start here and do the repeat. Here we go. Actually, this one is short too. <laughs> so let me do it again and do the repeat. So then you hold the third one like that. And then after you do that repeat, then you come over here and you finish with an E arpeggiated chord. So you have E, G sharp, B, E, and you roll it up. See the up arrow? Roll it up. And the left hand is going to stay on that low E you were, were on right here. So, and then you just Play the left hand and roll the right hand chord. Like that, okay? I have time to go through it slowly, so here we go from the beginning. Second box.